We just rolled into this great state of Wyoming. God bless Wyoming. I think all of us can say that in spades. But so this hunt's gonna be a little different. Uh, and this is what I kind of wanted to spark up this podcast or broadcast or whatever you want to call it, is as far as we're going with Go Hunt and great, great guys. Um, it's Brady and Trail from Go Hunt. Yeah, I, I don't know as far as our style of elk hunting versus their style. And if we're going to collide heads, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I have no idea, but um, we will definitely find out on the mountain. I've never hunted with these people before. They might look at me and the, and the decisions that I make in the elk woods, and they might laugh me right off the mountain. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, I've never killed a bull, so right. that's like the big thing right now. I'm just trying to figure out what not to do. <laughs> I've you know, never seen a bull elk up close, never seen one on the ground, so. I'm a little new to this game. I'm not a good caller, so I'm looking forward to embarrassing myself. No, on camera no, 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 no. Yeah. There's no such thing. No, there's no such thing as a bad No, I really caller. am. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. hey, we're all gonna. So that's what I'm expecting. Right. Just good Sweet. time, shoot Sweet. some bulls. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm really optimistic though. I think we're gonna kill some bulls. You're shooting out front first. It's a lot of Number pressure. one. That's ah, not that much pressure. Yeah. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There's a lot more country to you than what it looks like from the road. I mean, you'd never think that this opens up. No. Oh, let's go kill one. There's like two or three of them in there. Two or three. I had it at 68 because that's where the tree was and he was behind that even further than that range again. But did he I, got, I was at full draw. Did he bugle? I don't think so. Uh -huh. And I don't think that that was the bull that was bugling at us. There's, I think the, there was two bulls for sure. And then there's another one. I think there's, th I think there's three right there's there. Right down low on this point. That's freaking sweet. He did say that. That was a lot of fun. I guess the only way it could be better is if we had killed one, but. I mean, to, to get in here and then to have, what, three bulls pretty close to being in range was pretty cool, so. If all the rest of the days yeah, end up even close to this, place. yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good trip. <laughs> I mean, kill mode. This is what I was missing last night. Mm -hmm. This works 90% mm, like of the time, every time.
he did what bulls do. <laughs> but I think his cows were moving at the time, and so he wouldn't come all the way and commit. We've kind of got a, a angle, a direction where he went. We're on his tracks right now. We're going to follow him. And um, he's been piping off every once in a while, but now I don't think we can hear him anymore. But we know the direction he is, so we're going to sit down, eat some lunch, let him go do what he wants to, let the girls go to bed, and then we're going to go in and wreck his home bad. He's gone. He's here somewhere. We just got to find him. We just, we just, we just haven't heard him yet. And then Trail's over here, which his parents named him. Totally, totally wrong. Yeah. Love your parents, never met them, but I'm just saying. They're good people. Before you think about it, before you speak. I know. They're great <laughs> people. But you should stay on the trail. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I was actually just walking a little bit while ago. Yeah. Had for a guy named Trail, I'm not real good at staying on one. Did you say that to yourself? Not to myself. Because this whole crew's been saying it. Well, there's one down below him. This came out of the trees. It's right behind that. Tree. A single tree. Yeah. It's a really good looking spot. Yeah. When I come into this, I thought this guy was gonna look at me and just be like, dude, you're doing it all wrong. But at the same time, I think we've fed off each other a little bit. I think we've taught each other some stuff. And I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm pretty jacked about teaching Brady Miller something. What have you learned from me? Uh, the See? Sawyer, Sawyer squeeze water filter system. Okay, but go a little deeper. The fruit snacks are a good blessing. Deeper than that. How to call elk. That's okay, like that's the, just that's just stuff, but deeper. I mean, just life. I'm, I would, I'm just getting by right now, and you're living. <laughs> See? <laughs> Morning. Hey, did you bugle. hear the bugle? Yeah. See, that's a good thing. Um, I heard one. It was like at 5 o'clock when I was freezing to death. No, it wasn't that bad, actually. I already painted up this morning, right when I got up. Oh, man, that's right, you did. Warrior preps for battle way before the fight. Write that down. That's a good quote. I just made it up. Tell me good. It sounded awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded awesome. So, I was talking to Trail. Okay. About, you guys have split, a good talk? about splitting us up. Yeah, okay. good talk. Yeah, good talk. Good talk. Would we like to split up and meet at the truck tomorrow? There's too many cows on this He, he'd already lost interest. He did all what he wanted to right here, and then he kind of lost interest and faded back. So we'll just let him go. We'll just keep keep on him. Did you hear and like Zach said, there could be another bull back behind here. Oh, it was close, man. It was close. It was close. It's been so windy, we haven't heard anything. We hiked all up on top here, hoping to see back or hear back down in the spot we were this morning while the bulls were bugling and no bulls are bugling because it's been windy. So they can't hear our calls, we can't hear them. Not fun. Come in from 
other side. We should have a pretty good chance here. Hopefully. I don't know, but we're wanting him to tell us where he's at real quick. I'm just right when he came out, he just stops and he's kind of, I think he's looking at us. You see ya. I just put it at 25 right there and it just buried the whole arrow. I didn't see the arrow, I didn't see the pledge. Oh. Unless I shot underneath him, but I don't think so. I think it buried right, right, right there. Right there, Yeah. Well, I think it should have went right into his heart. Right there. I was just Did I... you hear the crash after I called? After I bugled? Before. Got blood right here. I think he's dead. Yes! Oh, look at all the mud on him. Oh, look at that. Just smoke. Look at that bull, Trent. <laughs> oh, what goodness. a beauty. That's the one we called in yesterday. Same bull. Hey, two sixes, two years in a row. Oh, well deserved. Thank you, man. Beautiful Thank bull. You. Thank you. Nice guys. work, buddy. Thank you. Beautiful animals. We're here at camp. We've had everything just spread out, enjoying life, shooting our bows, eating food, and we get the text, bowl down, come help, pack meat. Welcome back to the Born and Raised audio experience. Today I shot a bull. We shot that bull today, man, and it's just like you guys said we're coming. I've never hunted with you guys before in my life, but you're willing to walk three miles, I would say, three miles up there to go pack out the rest of my bull and being jacked about it. That was the thing. Today was pretty awesome. Anyway, to wrap this up, guys, uh, tomorrow is a definite new day. The trail and Brady still have tags. Um, we were super blessed today, super blessed. We've got two different teams today. We're splitting up. We've got the uh, I'm not going to say A and B, and I'm not going to say better team, worst team, or anything like that, but both teams are going to kill out tonight. So we've got me, Brady, and Zach, and then Steve, Trail, and Weston all going in hot. So the great thing now about splitting into two teams, we have two dedicated callers, and Trail and I are both going to be going in two different areas. Uh, we're going to be going in the same spot that... Uh, Trent killed his bull yesterday, and there's a lot of bulls fired up in there the last couple days, so it's gonna be awesome. And there's a lot of water, a lot of walls in there, a lot of elk. We got our first bugle. How excited are you? That was an awesome bugle, too. He's way up there in the He's elk a ways. He's a ways. Yeah, but hey, we got something to go on. This is a good thing. We just can't screw this up. <laughs> you got that? Well, we're not gonna screw it up. We're gonna climb right in. Let's just go. Call him in. to take a bull in the afternoon. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Or in morning, or midday, yeah, I mean, or any, just any time. Boys.
you can shoot quite a ways right and left. So when you set up, make sure you can shoot down and left. But the way this topography is, he might be closer than we think though. You know, you never know if he's tucked in behind something. It's hard to say if he saw us, but he walked down the hill a little bit and bugled right at us. I thought he was coming down the trees, but we had a big swirl of winds and it went right up to him and then he turned around and walked off. He didn't run off, so hard to say if he saw us or the wind got him, but he left. He's not here. Definitely should be a play for morning. Hopefully the guys are having a more productive night, productive night than we are. It's not looking too good, to be honest. But, but gotta try it. That's true. We got a plan B. I mm -hmm. mean, if if this is just completely devoid of elk tomorrow, we got a plan B. Yeah. That. Are you ready to hit it? I'm ready. Should we go? Should we go up here just to check? I think we probably should. We got to. We got to go up there and check and see if he's up there. If not, we're just gonna side hill through this timber. And actually, after that, if not, I say we move. I say we go somewhere else. That's mm -hmm. what I'm. That's my my vote. Go find some new trophy country. Yeah. Well, enough of we got woke up about five o'clock this morning to a whole bunch of bugling, which is a good thing. And trail just spotted a bull and possibly another bull and a flat across the canyon. And then we got the big crowler somewhere below us, but we can't see him. You know, the bull might come in, he might be yeah. six. Yeah, we might get between the two of them. No, he doesn't look like at He's either gonna come in or he's gonna run like hell. I know. <laughs> he sounds pretty growly. He sounds pretty mean. And there's all these satellites running around. If he doesn't work out, just move on to the next. Yeah, he's wearing balls. Yeah. Morning's not really. It's not going. <laughs> not going anywhere. It's not producing. We walked all the way up the head of the basin where the bull was last night. Where we thought he went. It wasn't there. We're seeing some awesome country. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. We just need to go find some elk. I think the plan. I mean, I think we should use middle of the day today to move. We are doing the old born and raised darted aboard. We're going rogue. We're going to head off grid. We're going to a whole different spot. There's trails in between where we're headed. It could be steep, it could be ugly, it could be treacherous, I don't even know.
we left the bull up over this ridge in a bench this morning. Um, thermals were starting to change, so we decided to come down here and take a break. And hopefully, he'll crack off this evening because the evenings have not been very good. <laughs> that hurts so bad. That's a big boy too, probably. He's across the... He is across on the other side of the canyon, but hey, we got our first bugle. That's all we're caring about. We have been humping it up here. We have been hiking our Bilbo Baggins off to get here. What did you say down by those walls? When we get to this next little ridge right here, we're gonna hear our first bugle. See? It's like a like a well-working clock. But the problem is the bugles across the canyon. We can't get there before dark. So we're gonna keep fire. Oh, he keeps doing it though. No, it's right in my face. We're headed back to the truck and we're gonna relocate camps. Um, the hunting is just not what we want it to be. 99 was a good year. Tonight we feast. We have tenderloins tonight. Cue the music montage now. Tonight might be a little slow, but I'm thinking tomorrow morning uh, we're gonna call in and kill a six point. We just busted out a whole nother herd, no big deal. Um, what is that number? Let's see, carry the two, four, eight, maybe a 12? I think we're at like 10 to 12 bulls. Baker's dozen, Baker's dozen, so. So yeah, we're gonna do the smart thing and leave those animals and go up this precipice. Made it to another night. Um, we come up that super steep canyon and came over the top and there's a forest fire, it looks like, across the ridge. It's got all of us kind of wondering what, I don't, I don't know, what do we, what do you do there? Anybody? I don't know, but it's a long ways away. It's um, over, what, two miles? Two miles away, yeah. About two miles away. We're gonna wake up every hour or so, or every two hours, and look at the fire, see what it looks like. Tomorrow, we're gonna hike out anyway to be on the safe side. We didn't burn down. Yeah, it's the great fire of 2018. It sucks to leave elk, but if it's your life or elk, eh. Yeah, I don't know, we're gonna bugle into this basin, see if we can get anything located. We're probably gonna head out of here. With the uh, afternoon winds in this place, I don't want to be up here with winds pushing the fire towards us, so.
I knew he stopped right there. I couldn't stop like under 100 yards. Dude, he just crashed. Did you hear a moan? Did he moan? He just moaned. Yes! Yes! Dude. Is it a good bull? That's a big bull. That's a big general season bull. Yeah. Ain't it? Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh man. Dude. So cool. There's a lot of times you just think there's there's no way it's ever gonna happen, and you then just, you just defeat, keep pushing, you're defeat, and you just keep going, and keep going pushing, and going keep and, pushing, and, yep. keep pushing, and then eventually you just put yourself into a spot, and it all comes together. Yep. Well, right now we're doing a sheep drive down the road, but we just heard words from the other party, West Trail and Steve. Trail killed a giant bull. Stud, stud. stud. I don't know what the difference between stud and giant is, but they're all big. All right, guys, we're back with the born and raised audio experience and the man of the day, big dog himself, big trail. A lot of it comes from experience. Like if, if you've been in the woods and you've shot an elk, I mean, you can only get that, or any animal, you only get that one way and it's just by doing it. And when I took the shot, it felt right. But then, you know, you bet, you play it back in your head. You're like, was that the right decision, you know? But in the moment, it was the right decision and it ended up being the right decision. Had a great day today. One I'll never forget for sure. We had one log, so we were laying the This is a good campsite. We've got bulls right over the hill right there, bugling. But the wind is horrible. These evening winds, it's all over the place. And we are putting every single egg in the Brady basket. We have to go out tomorrow night, so we've got all morning tomorrow morning to shoot Brady and elk. And I feel good about it. Do you feel good about it? Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it was a bugle literally right up on the ridge, 120 yards away last night. Definitely woke me up, but excited wake up. It was pretty cool. And yeah, that means we're on to elk already, you know, before you even wake up. That's good. I didn't sleep very good last night because there were elk all over through camp and there was a bull that screamed, I think, from about 3 a.m. till just now.
can I can see anything. Oh, well, son of a biscuit. Welcome to the Born and Raised Audio Experience. It's been a roller coaster. I would describe it as a roller coaster, yeah. I, that. I think it's went way better than I had ever pictured it going. Like, even though I didn't kill a bull, like yeah, that would have been so fun, but like I learned a lot. I mean you guys can hunt elk. Yeah, it was an amazing week. Thank you guys so much for listening. And uh, hey, we'll see you guys on the next on the next broadcast, podcast, whatever this thing's called. We're, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do this evening. What's up to Brady? Yeah, got a lot of meat in the backpack. We could, eat some, we could eat some uh, tenderloins. We could eat some tendies. Could eat some tendies. Yeah, I think Zach and I are gonna make a trip back for the rifle hunt. You signed yourself up. Oh, rifle hunt. <laughs>